what's up guys today I'm gonna be doing a quick video showing you how to restore from iOS 8 GM back to iOS 7 just in case you want to be back on the old software for like a jailbreak or you just don't like iOS 8 at the time but I'm just gonna show you how to do it I'll post a link in the description on where you can get the firmware if you want to do it that way I'm gonna show you a much faster way and you can let iTunes actually download the software for you <clears throat> but uh as you can see right here, I am on iOS 8. Zoom in so you can see that. But yeah. oh. iOS 8. And what you're going to want to do is, if you're going to do it by using the um, software and manually doing it, then you're going to um, you're going to hold Shift after you've downloaded the software. You're going to hold Shift, and then you're going to um, click here on Restore, and you're going to browse for the software. But if you do it the way that I'm going to show you. You just hook your phone up since iTunes doesn't recognize your device because you're on iOS 8. Um, you're just going to do it this way. You're first going to power off your device. Just power it off. And this really probably will only take maybe five minutes for you to do it until you restore from your backup, depending on how much stuff you have on your backup. It may take a while. Once you're on this screen, uh, make sure it's fully off. Make sure that spinning wheel's gone. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to hold the home button and the power button until um, you'll see a little iTunes logo pop up on your screen. <clears throat> Just keep on holding it. It'll go past this screen. And it should come up to the iTunes. There you go. This is what'll pop up. This is your sync screen, download screen, that kind of thing. And then you'll get a notification on iTunes, and it'll say this. It says iTunes has detected iPhone in recovery mode, and this is going to be your fastest way to restore your device back to iOS 7. And you're just going to select OK, and then you're going to click right here where it says Restore iPhone and just click restore and update and it'll put you on the newest software and right there you can see it's extracting once that runs through then it'll do it on your device just like it did when you were installing the G okay so it's finished with the extraction um, your iPhone is gonna get yeah there you go the loader bar across that's gonna come across um, once this runs through then that's pretty much it guys um, it'll boot up and it'll um, allow you to restore from iCloud recovery if you have it or you can restore from a backup that you had on um, iTunes but we'll just let this run and then I'll show you that I'm back on iOS 7.1.2 okay guys the device is booting back up um, once it does I will show you that it's back to 7.1.2 and then you guys can give it a shot and if you're going to do this you're going to want to do it before the 17th because when Apple does officially release iOS 8 then more than likely they're going to stop signing the 7.1.2 firmware so then you're not going to be able to go back to iOS 7 once you do the official update there will be like a very short window probably just maybe an hour or so where you're actually going to be able to do it on the 17th so if you're going to do it you should probably do it um, no later than the 16th all right here you go guys um, it's restored let me give it in and show you that I'm on iOS 7 again general about 7.1.2 there you go guys um, just remember that if you're gonna do this you need to do it before the 17th um, before Apple stops signing the iOS 7.1.2 software and you're stuck on iOS 8. If this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.